Hi everyone, on behalf of everyone at Athletes for Hope, welcome. This is our first open gym via the AFH Fit program. My name is Chris Wittenbach and I am with Athletes for Hope. Joining me today is Vince Beagle of the Miami Dolphins and also alum of the University of Wisconsin football. Vince, welcome. How are you doing? Hey, thanks for having me on guys and having a great day. Excellent. So Vince, I gave you a very, very brief introduction there. Would you mind maybe taking a minute or two and just telling all the kids watching a little bit about yourself and what's going on in Miami? Sure. Well, I'm originally from Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, where I grew up there. Um, and as you, as you mentioned, uh, I went to the University of Wisconsin. I uh, played there and then I ended up getting drafted in 2017 by the Green Bay Packers. Um, after one year there, I was released and then I got picked up by the New Orleans Saints. I was on the Saints for a year in 2018 and then was traded to the Miami Dolphins uh, last year in 2019. So I've been on the Dolphins for going on my second year now and um, going in my fourth year into the NFL. Uh, married and uh, to my wife who's from Wisconsin as well. We met at the university. And then I have a, a beautiful little 18 month old daughter named Willow. And uh, she keeps uh, she keeps me busy in my free time. I believe it. So I have a question for you, Vince. At, at what point in your life did uh, football become your sport? You know, was it always your sport, or was there a point where you said, "Okay, I think I'm pretty good at this. This is this is mine from now on." That's a good. That's a really good qu question. And I came from a football family. So my my grandfather uh, played college football. My dad and both of my uncles played college football at BYU. Um, so football was always a big part of my life. And um, my dad was always my Pop Warner coach. He was always the coach growing up on me. And he's always also my hardest critic. So it was, it was a, football was always part of my life and it was always there. But over the course of my life, I really truly learned and, and grew to love the game of football. And, um, I was fortunate enough to, to, to be in a good high school with a good team and mm -hmm. ended up getting a scholarship at the University of Wisconsin where it was the best fit for me and provided me with the opportunity to play in the NFL. So I always loved the game of football. I was always the kid who was collecting, you know, football cards, always loved playing, you know, Madden. Um, I always wore, you know, Brian Erlacher was my favorite linebacker growing up. And, um, to now to be able to play in the NFL has just has been always been a lifelong dream of mine, and, and it's it's awesome, and I'm truly blessed to be able to do what I do. That's awesome, Vince. And so, for everybody that is a football fan, everybody that watches on Sunday, what is the hardest part about being an NFL player? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I would say the hardest part about being an NFL football player, and it might surprise you, it has nothing to do with on the field, but it has everything to do with off the field. Mm -hmm. It's making sure that you're studying your plays. It's making sure that you're taking care of your body. It's kind of like doing your homework at night for a student. It's, it's Being at school isn't sometimes the hardest part. Sometimes it's going home and doing your homework and being disciplined. That's the hardest part. And I would say it's the same with the NFL. It's nothing to do with on the field. It's all of the off the field things that make the game hard and, and actually sometimes prevents you to do what you do on the field. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think I don't think everybody always thinks about some of the hard stuff that comes with playing on Sundays, but that was very yeah. helpful. So Vince, today we're gonna to talk about two very big topics um, via the AFH Fit program. The first topic is physical fitness, um, which I think will be easy to talk about. And the other topic, which will be a little harder, is the theme of the month for the CHAMPS curriculum, and that is the concept of courage. But let's start with physical fitness. And I know you mentioned that you know football has been a major part of your life, and your dad was your Pop Warner coach. So a lot of football in those, um, those memories from growing up. But... Um, what other sports did you play as a kid? Man, I'm, I'm sure I was like just many of the kids listening in here. I was, I loved every single sport. I loved baseball, I loved hockey, I loved track, I loved even playing kickball at recess. Mm -hmm. um, obviously it was involved with football. Um, so I was always doing as many sports as I possibly could and just staying fit and, and 
Um, I think it wasn't until my later years where I really started concentrating on football. But early on in, in elementary and growing up, I was in as many sports as I possibly could. Um, obviously, I was some I was better at some than others. Um, but for me, it was all about being a part of a team. It was all about being physically active and it was all about having fun and just enjoying whatever sport I was playing. Absolutely. And I'm curious, me personally, you know, one of my favorite sort of experiences of being a kid and growing up um, during the school day was PE class. Um, any memories from your PE classes that sort of stick out growing up? I know it's a little different than organized sports, but kind of the same sort of topic of physical fitness. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's great. I, PE class, I always said it was my favorite time of the day mm -hmm. because, you know, I was just an energy kid. I, I, I always wanted to be physically active. Um, so I always had a lot of great memories um, in PE class. And I think it was kind of unique when I grew up in Wisconsin, we always had hockey as one of the, as part of the curriculum. I think it's kind of different um, in Wisconsin compared to even down here in South Florida where I'm at now. I don't think they have hockey in their PE classes, but we always had hockey and, and floor hockey, excuse me. So that was always a big um, a, a class that I always had. And we always used to do um, field trips at the PE class. Mm -hmm. So we always went rock climbing. Um, we would go out to uh, uh, Devil's Lake. We would go rock climbing out there. And it was just so many great memories that I had. Um, in PE class, just being, physic being physically active, hiking on trails in Wisconsin and being part of class, or even just being um, uh, one, of, one of my least, I guess I should say one of my least favorite parts of the PE class we did was the pacer. I don't know if, I don't know if they still do that in, um, um, in, in the curriculum, but basically it's a, it's, a, it's a beeping noise and you have to go down and then over time the beeping noise starts getting quicker and quicker and quicker. So, uh, Everybody would kind of tap out after a moderate, but I was always in a competition against myself to see as many reps <laughs> I can. Trying to be able to have as many reps as I could. Uh, I don't like the sound of the pacer, but I'm sure it was fun at, at, the, at that time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, last question for you about physical fitness and you know its role in your school day. Did you notice growing up, if you had PE on a specific day of the week, did you notice that your focus or academic performance was a little bit better that days, excuse me, those days you were able to get active and get moving? 110%. Not only is, I think, physical activity is good for your body, but it's even better for your mind. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of research out there that shows that not only is physical activity beneficial to your body, but it's beneficial most importantly to your mind. Um, and I can even see that with me being in the NFL. And what I mean by that is um, when I was physically active and in, in, in practices, I feel like I'm mentally sharp in my meetings. Um, and I actually just recently sustained an Achilles injury. So I haven't been able to be as physically active as I'd like. And I feel like my mind isn't as sharp or I, I don't have that mental focus like I usually do when I'm being able to be physically active as well. Mm -hmm. So not only I think is physical activity though is, is beneficial for your physical health, mm -hmm. it's, it's beneficial to your mental health as well. Absolutely. We totally agree with you. And on that note, why don't we take a quick breather and do, well, maybe a breather is the wrong term for it. Take a quick break and take a brain break. So for our brain break today, Vince, um, for those of you that don't know, a brain break is where we take a step away from the computer and do a quick um, little physical exercise to get the heart and the blood flowing and help our focus come back to us. So Vince, what are we going to do today for our brain break? Here's my little brain break that I got for everybody today. We're going to do 10 air squats, 10 push-ups, and then we're going to go 10 air squats and 10 push-ups again. So we'll have a fun, we'll have a fun little uh, uh, two sets of 10 push-ups, two sets of 10 air squats. We'll get after it and we'll have a fun little brain break, guys. All right, guys, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nice job, you guys. All right, let's go do those push-ups now. Ten of them, ready? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. How are you guys? We're halfway there. <laughs> Here, catch your breath. We're about to go right into the air squats again, okay? All right, let's do it, guys. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. I know you guys are feeling that burn. Now let's go push up the spin shit. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. First one. Go. So, Vince, um, why don't we get started in talking about courage as it's the theme of the month. Courage is defined as the ability to do something that frightens you. That's one of the definitions. I'm curious to hear, what does courage mean to you? What courage means to me is doing the harder right than the easier wrong. I like that. I like that a lot. And how is how has courage helped you uh, be successful in football? That's a great question. I think the biggest courage that I've had in football to get me where I'm at today is being able to say no to the things that don't matter and saying yes to the things that do matter. And what I mean by that is, yeah, it would be easy to um, sleep in in the mornings and maybe not go to that lift. You know what? It would be it would be easy in that moment to say, I'm I'm gonna take the easier I'm gonna take the easier route here. Mm -hmm. But I think courage is having every single day doing the harder right than the easier wrong. So it's waking up in the morning. It's you know maybe um, you know maybe not going to that party or it's it's being able to be disciplined in your day to day actions to help get you to greater things. Awesome. Awesome. And I know this is kind of a tough one, but would there be a, um, a story or a time in your life where um, you were courageous as a kid, an adult, and, an, and it really paid off for you? Yes. Um, the, one, the one memory that I had that stood out that I, where I had great courage, um, and it wasn't a good time. It was actually one of the toughest times of my life. And that was actually once I got released from the Green Bay Packers. Mm -hmm. Um, I grew up a Green Bay Packer fan in Wisconsin. Uh, I got drafted by Green Bay, and then they cut me. Mm -hmm. So there I was without a job my, after my first year in the NFL, and I was really scared. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the New Orleans Saints picked me up the next day, and there I was down in New Orleans, um, thousands away from my hometown. I didn't know a single soul in New Orleans. I was mm -hmm. living in a hotel. My wife was pregnant at the time. It took me great courage to wake up that day and say, you know what? I'm going to go out and I'm going to kick butt at practice. I'm going to go out and have a great day. I'm going to be mentally sharp in my meetings. And I'm going to I'm gonna get back on the horse and I'm going to be a great football player. I think people always think that courage is, oh, you did something really great. Or I think courage comes from some of the darkest and hardest times. When sometimes your back's against the wall. That's when true character and true courage is shown. I think that's perfect, Vince. I love the way that you set that up. Um, courage, courage is tough, and the way that you described it, it, the opportunities that we sometimes don't sort of um, initially see allow for that courage to sort of flourish within us, and that's what right. happened to you after getting released with the Packers and finding a new home in New Orleans. Um, but it was how you dealt with that that is an example of courage and that's that's perfect um so vince it was great talking to you it was um i think we all wish we were down in miami warm sunny miami um this time of year but um we truly appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule and talking to us about physical fitness talking to us about courage and helping the kids who are working on those things in their homes, maybe in school some of the time, help them sort of work on those characteristics and skills as well. So um, before we leave, I would just like to give you the opportunity to share a message with all the kids out there that'll be watching this 
um, through the AFH Fit program. Well, thank you guys for Athletes from Hope, Chris, for having me on here. It means a lot to me to be able to come in and just talk to the youth and being able to share my story, what courage means to me, while also getting a little bit of sweat on. Uh, I think if I had to leave one message with you guys, and um, I think it's uh, finding your why. And what I mean by finding your why is, is what makes you get up in the morning and go to those workouts or what makes you want to be the best you? It's finding what that is. Um, you know, I'm a strong person of faith, so my personal why is the reason why I play the game of football isn't for the fans. It's not for the accolades. It's not for the, the money or the notoriety. For me, playing the football means it's, it's, it's playing for the man upstairs and it's playing for my wife and my daughter. And when I go out on the field, I'm not thinking anything else but about, about, about those, those people, my family and the man upstairs. So I want you guys to think of something, a why that means something to you because it's in those courageous moments, you're gonna lean on your why to get you through those times. So I hope that, you know, instills something in you guys to be, courage, be courageous, um, do the right thing and, and, and stay physically fit you guys. And, and you guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and, and I appreciate you guys having me on. Vince, it was our pleasure, and before we sign off, I want to remind all the kids that are doing the AFH Fit program this year that you can now fill out the Courage Badge on your AFH Fit certificate and um, continue along with the program. Vince, thank you again, and uh, we wish you the best in your recovery. And everyone, good luck in physical fitness this coming month, and we will talk to you next month. Thank you so much. <music>